creates here. Uh, yeah, I know. I know, it's been a while. Um, there's been all kinds of stuff going on in my life. Uh, a lot of things that took my attention away, unfortunately, from the YouTube channel. But I'm back. Uh, I'm still here. Uh, anybody who's been following the channel for a long time knows that every once in a while, things get a little too hectic and I need a little bit of a break just to catch up on real world stuff. Um, not that this isn't real, but you know what I mean. Um, and <laughs> just to add, I had a, just to give you a really quick rundown of the series of unfortunate events. Like we had some, well, some, not all of it was unfortunate. I mean, we had like some, uh, family stuff. My daughter made her confirmation. We had that kind of stuff going on. We had, uh, fa other families, birthdays, things like that going on. Some other family issues. Then giant flood in my basement, which is where I make all my videos. <laughs> um, just, and I had to deal with that for a couple days. Uh, we had a huge storm here. And then just to top everything off, just last night, I dislocated my toe, uh, in one of the most in one of the lamest ways possible. I don't even want to tell you guys because it's just embarrassing, honestly, how I did it. Um, it's absolutely ridiculous. Like, uh, to make it sound cool, I'll just say, well, I stubbed my toe, and it pretty sure it was... I thought it was broken, but I'm pretty sure it was dislocated because a couple hours later, while I was laying in my bed, my wife was asleep, and she accidentally kicked the toe that I thought was broken, um, woke me up, and doubled me over in pain when it happened um but actually i think fixed the toe <laughs> i think are kicking it actually put it back in the socket so thanks um so that's why i'm pretty sure it was dislocated it still hurts like a mofo but uh it, it's better than it was i think so you know i could actually wiggle it now whereas i couldn't even move it when it first happened so anyway long story short a lot of nonsense going on but during that time I was also taking some time for myself to work on something. And you guys know, if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you guys know that eventually, you know, I want to, that, well, you guys know, let's, let's take a step back. You guys know that years and years and years and years and years ago, when I was a kid, I made lots of comics. I've shared a bunch of them with you guys on the channel. Um, you know, I've gone through them with you. Uh, I still have more, actually. And I, I still plan on going through, like, more of them with you guys. Because I just... I don't know if you guys like those videos. They're not my most watched videos by any means. But I really enjoy making the videos. So, you know, just for me. Just for my for my fun. And for anybody else who wants to watch and have a good time. Honestly, they're some of my favorite videos. And I think if you watch them, you will genuinely enjoy them. It's the... it's the, There's a playlist on the site. It's... Uh, Jam Comics Classics is what I call it because that's what I used to call my comics was Jam Comics. Um, so anyway, one of those comics that I made back in the day was Furry Fighting Kung Fu Ferrets. Um, and now, if you've been on the channel, you may have seen the one video where I... And, and I posted this online as well on my Twitter and stuff. I think I put it on Instagram too. Um, if you've been... If you follow me on social media, I'm at jam underscore creates on... Twitter, on uh, Instagram, and I'm just Jam Creates on Parlor. if you want to stay away from those disgusting cesspools of Twitter. Um, and you may have seen this before. I showed you guys this on, the, on a video once before, too. If you missed it, hey, here it is. This is going to be uh, the cover for the next issue of Indie Comics Underground. Uh, if you're out there and you're wondering, hey, you got to send me some questions. You reached out to me. I reached out to you. What do we need to do? I'm going to get to you soon. I'm going to really get knuckled down and get working on that new issue to get it wrapped up so I can send it out very soon. Um, just be patient. Like I said, there was a lot of stuff going on. But this is going to be the cover of the new issue. Um, I actually have a full colored version. I did the colors for it and everything. Um, maybe, I'll probably share that one online at some point. I kind of want to save it, though, for when the issue's ready. Uh, but anyway, what this is, is this is my... I wanted to just I want to just give you guys kind of a heads up on what I've been working on and what I've been doing and this is kind of a well it's a reboot I guess but not really because no one's ever read the original ferrets comics that I made when I was a kid except for like a handful of my friends and family <laughs> um, uh, and whoever watched the video because I made a video about the first issue um, I made like I think I made like three issues of it four three or four issues I think 
uh, I, I'll go through them again at some point, uh, especially as we get closer to this stuff uh, becoming a reality. But anyway, as I did the cover, you know, I've been working on this idea of revamping this whole, of revisiting and revamping this whole concept of the ferrets. And inspiration struck. I had these really great ideas, or at least I think they're great ideas, and I just kind of been swept up in it. And so I've been working on my art. And one of the things I've been working on is doing a short comic just to kind of introduce the characters and the world. So I'm working on a six page comic. Uh, right now I have four pages done, pencils done, not inked yet. Um, I want to finish all the pencils before I start inking. Um, I've got four pages ink, uh, uh, four pages penciled already. So I'm going to share those with you now. Um, so this was, like I said, this was the cover that's going to be in the cover of ICU. This will not be the cover of the six page story. I'm going to do a, a new cover for that just because I feel like, you know, you guys deserve that. And, and I want to do it because I really am having fun drawing these characters and stuff. And so I want to show you guys just a, a real quick little glimpse. Um, I had them just spread out here just for effect when we started here. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering what, when I said this is going to be the cover for the new issue of Indie Comics Underground, uh, if you're wondering what that is, Indie Comics Underground is my free online zine dedicated to indie and crowdfunded comics. You can go to IndieComicsUnderground.com and you can read all the previous issues. There's been seven issues thus far. And you can read all the previous issues. And while you're there, you can sign up. And if you sign up, you'll get the new issue sent to your email inbox before the rest of the internet gets it shared on the website. So I always send it to subscribers first, and then everybody else has to wait to get it later. Um, and it's all cool, like indie books that are coming soon, that are crowdfunded, that you can, you know, and all links inside work, so you can go to campaigns and all kinds of other stuff. So... Um, what I'm going to show you here is is uh, essentially the middle of this. It's it's pages two through five is what I've got done so far. I started. It's you might ask yourself, well, why didn't you do page one first? Um, you know, again, as a lot of artists do, uh, I am very self conscious, of course, about my art, and sometimes I second guess myself and and third guess myself if that's really a thing. Um, but what happened is I started trying to do the first page and it just wasn't working for me. And I decided I don't have to do page one first. So I wanted, I, I really wanted to get going. So I said, I'm just gonna start with page two to hell with it. So I started with page two. This is page two right here. Um, and what was really cool, and this is one of the things I love about doing this channel and I love about sharing stuff on the internet and some of the people that I've met along the way on whether it be on social media or whatever, is I've got some, you know, I, I wouldn't, I mean, they're not friends. I don't talk to them that, I do have some friends, don't get me wrong, who who are fantastic artists and stuff, who I consider friends. Um, but then I have others who are more acquaintances, like I've, you know, chatted with a little bit here and there. Um, you know, a comment here, a comment there, whatever. Um, but I got feedback based on some of the stuff I posted when I posted a couple pages. And, and you're going to see, I, I, first of all, I just want to say I'm super, super proud of what I've done thus far. And I think this is some of the best work that I have ever done. Um, so I just want to show you guys, like I said, this is, this is the first page. I'm not going to get into what the story is because this is a, it's a short story. So me showing you four pages is kind of like spoiling the whole thing in a way um, because it's a very quick story. It's only a six page story. And the reason I'm doing that is just because I want to introduce, I'm not sure how I'm going to distribute it yet. I haven't decided that yet. I'm still doing my other comic book, um, The Touch, which is going to be continued. Part one was in the last issue of Indie Comics Underground. Part two will be in the next issue. Um, I'm still going to continue show, you know, putting that out for you guys. And that was done as a contest entry where I had a week to get the whole thing done. So that's very rushed. It's not my greatest work, honestly. It, it's not. Um, but I learned so much by doing that. And I recommend that to anybody who's trying to improve their artwork uh, as a comic book artist is to do that, do a comic book in a week, you know, anything from, from four to eight pages. Mine was seven pages. Um, do that in a week. It, it really teaches you a lot 
really, really fast. You learn a lot very quickly. So anyway, now this obviously I'm taking more time on. So certain, you know, certain panels have taken me a long time, but here's what I want to get into. Okay. So I shared it first when I first shared it. I only, I don't think I shared just this page. I think I shared the first, uh, these two pages, um, which you can see, um, these are the characters. Um, there's the ferrets and there's Stevie. Um, the essential, like, just so you guys know, like, what this even is, um, originally, you know, it was conceived when I was a kid, and it was a blatant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ripoff, <laughs> there's no doubt about it, um, there were four ferrets, each one of them had a different weapon, you know, it was, it was very much a, a Ninja Turtles ripoff, now what I've got, I feel is so, so, I mean, you're, it's still going to get compared to Ninja Turtles. I understand that. And I'm fine with that. Like, I get that. It's not a problem. Um, you know, uh, and I do think fans of Ninja Turtles probably will like it, especially old school fans of Ninja Turtles of the old comics back in the day. Um, you know, way back when, when they were really like underground Eastman and Laird making the books. Um, you know, that's a big part of my inspiration. But I've really kind of, I feel like I've found my style and I've found my confidence and I've found just, you know, I, the more I work, the better things get. And, you know, I start to get a momentum going and then I don't want to stop. And that's another thing that has kind of kept me away from the channel is the momentum of drawing. Because um, once I start going on a page, I get really excited and then I keep going. So... Uh, we've got these, these are two of the ferrets right here. Uh, this is Axel and this is Ozzy. Uh, and this one right here, uh, and I'm sorry, that's Axel and that's Lemmy. And this one is Ozzy. Um, and then the guy, the leads, the, you know, the, uh, the other guy, the human who's with them, who's their buddy, who you can see in the picture here, the, the lead singer, um, that's Stevie, that's Axel, that's Ozzy, that's Lemmy. Um, and if you don't know where the names came from, look it up. I, I assume most people will probably know. Um, so you can see, I do have a little bit of a manga influence in my style. And you guys know I do manga Mondays every Monday. I love manga, but I also love Western comic books. I just love comic books as a whole. So anyway, I had shared these pages and I think I shared these pages and this panel here, this top panel on page four here. Uh, with the knee and the kick. And um, then I got some feedback from uh, somebody online. And it's somebody I respect. It's uh, Well, I can tell you who it is. It's comic book black belt, um, Russ Leach. He's actually got his own crowdfunding campaign going right now. His own Indiegogo campaign for Only Death Can Save Us is going right now. Um, I don't know if the campaign started or if it was just the mailing list has started yet. I think it's just the mailing list right now. Uh, but he's a fantastic artist. He's been a working pro for years. Um, and he's a super cool guy. And he asked me, it was really, uh, it was honestly, it was really amazing because he reached out to me when I shared those pages and this panel. Um, and he said, are you, you know, it, it looks great. Would, are you open to some criticism? And I said, of course, like of, I'd be stupid not to take criticism from a guy like him who's a fantastic artist and a professional for years. Like, you'd have to be an idiot to say, no, I don't want to hear any criticism. Of course you want to hear criticism. He pointed out um, the lack of, of dynamic perspective, the lack of, of changing things and, and stuff. And, he, and, and, and I took it to heart, and I really realized he's right. And as much as I think the, these pages work, and I'm, I'm not going to change these pages because I'm very proud of the way they look, and I think they tell the story well, um, I realized I do need to do more. And so then that led me to doing this panel, which took a while to do. I know it doesn't look like much, I guess, when you look at it, but it took a while to do this page because I really wanted to make sure I got it right. Um, and then it led to, you know, it led to this, which is with this pulled back camera and the microphone in the foreground and the, you know, the angles of the bodies. And then this panel, which I really like this panel a lot because you've got all three ferrets fighting at the same time, you've got a back, you got the background behind with the dumpster and you got, you know, just like different layers of action. I'm really happy with the way that one came out. Um, by the way, I love these expressions. I'm very, I'm very proud of my work. I, you know, I know it sounds weird to be like how much I love my own stuff, but like it is what it is. 
And then, you know, but that also led to me doing like this angle, which I never would have tried this angle before. I would have been terrified to try this angle. And honestly, this one silly panel took me such a long time to do. But I'm cool with that because I like the way it came out. And then the rest of this, I'm very happy with the way it came out. Um, and you can see like this one's pretty easy. It's just a face, you know. But then like I'm very happy with like the expressions I'm getting on people and the the acting and the emotion and the different angles and the dynamism to it. And I'm really, I'm so happy. And it makes me really glad that I waited to do page one and, you know, and page six, obviously. Um, because I feel like they'll, they will be that much better. They'll be all the better for it. Um, so essentially if just to give you guys a real quick, I know this is kind of a longer video than I thought it was going to be actually. Um, but just to give you guys a real quick heads up on who the ferrets are and what their, their deal is, there's three ferrets, Axel, Lemmy, and Ozzy, and their human buddy, Stevie. They are um, a band, and you may have seen I shared a logo on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, I shared a few different versions of, of it because I wanted feedback on which one looked the best, and I think we've decided on one now uh, for their band. They have a band called Tail Kickers. Um, uh, and essentially what the, what people know them as is they're like this underground punk rock band who play they they play small venues they're you know they're a, a small group they're not super famous you know most people wouldn't even know who they are but the people who do know them think of them as they're a costume act you know they're they're a a dude and then three other guys in costumes as ferrets playing the instruments um, but the truth is they're not in costumes. They actually are human sized ferrets. Uh, so that's what, you know, that's why you get them, you know, on stage playing instruments and stuff. Um, so you've got Axel plays lead guitar, Ozzy plays bass and Lemmy plays the drums. Um, and then the other thing is they're also fighters. Um, and you can see like, if I go back, I'll show you what, um, there now, obviously I'm not going to get too much into the origin of how they came to be yet. Uh, I'll save that for, cause that's not even going to be a part of this story. This is really just a quick letting you understand who they are and, and just kind of giving you a feel for the characters. So each one of the ferrets has a different fighting style as well. So Axel is Kung Fu. He's flashy. He's like a wushu fighter. So he's a flashy kung fu fighter a lot of flash a lot of you know sweet moves he, he's also axel's also very much like a loud mouth a braggart he's kind of full of himself he plays lead guitar so he thinks he's like the shiznit because he plays lead guitar and all you know everybody loves him uh lemmy is a muay thai fighter and he plays the drums so you can see he's got the tape on his on his hands and his feet um, and he wears the shorts. He, he never wears a shirt because he's like super buff and he's just like, I'm like, you know, and he's got the mohawk and he's like, you know, he he's Lemmy is more of like he's fun. Uh, like and Axel and Lemmy go back and forth like they break each other's shoes. They they have fun with one another like they make fun of each other. They tease each other because, you know, he thinks he's like God's gift and he's just fun. He likes to eat. He's he's big. He's silly. He's fun. Um, but he will also just absolutely whoop you uh, with his knees and his elbows and everything, you know. Um, and then Ozzy is, this is Ozzy right here. Ozzy is a ninja. He's trained in ninjutsu. Um, so, and Ozzy's whole thing is he's kind of, he's the bass player. Uh, he's a ninja. So he just kind of just fades to the background. I mean, if you think about any band in the world, the bass player is kind of invisible. Well, what is a ninja supposed to be? The art of invisibility. So, so he's a ninja and he plays bass because the bass players are mostly invisible in rock bands. Um, so, and he's also Ozzy because ninjas keep to the shadows, to the darkness. So I thought that was fun. I, I really enjoy it. I like the way it is. Um, Stevie's a cool dude and he's the lead singer. You know, he always wanted to be like a rock star, but he's kind of, they're struggling. They drive this crappy van from gig to gig. And there's more to the story that you'll find out. There's more characters. There's more to their origin. There's a whole bunch that's going to be happening. Not in part of this story. This is just a, hey, let's drop in quick story. 
could be a backup in an issue somewhere or whatever that would make you think, hey, these guys are cool. I want to see more of them. They're fun. Um, so that's what that is. I still don't know, like I said, how I'm going to put that out there and show it to everybody and get it out there to everyone. But uh, that is my ferret story. Uh, I am still debating on the title. I am not going to keep calling them furry fighting kung fu ferrets because that's just way too much of a Ninja Turtles thing. Plus, only one of them actually does kung fu. So <laughs> now that I've changed all that, you know, we've got a kung fu, a ninja, and a Muay Thai fighter. Um, it doesn't make sense to call them kung fu ferrets. Like, that would be silly. Um, so I I'm toying with different ideas. Uh, the, b the band's name is Tail Kickers. I may just call the comic Tail Kickers. Um, I'm not sure about that, if I want to do that or not. Um, but I definitely want to have some stickers of the logo and some band t-shirts and stuff like that, just because I want them. If you guys want them too, that'd be awesome. Um, and I'll share with you as we come along with that stuff. I'm going to do more. I'm going to do definitely do stickers like this Smiley Bone sticker. I'm definitely going to do the Tail Kickers logo uh, as a die cut sticker like this. I think it'll be fun. Um, I, I, I want it. Honestly, that's why I'm going to do it. It's because I want it. And I think you guys would like it too. Um, if you want anything like this, I already have Indie Comics Underground, Smiley Bones, I've got t-shirts, I've got stickers, I've got mugs. You can go to my Teespring store, the link will be down below, and you can help support the channel and it helps me to get these things done. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video, I'm going to be doing my some reviews and stuff. Um, I definitely have a Manga Monday planned. Uh, I had one planned for yesterday and it just didn't happen with the whole toe thing and, and a bunch of other stuff that happened. We had bees and it was a whole thing. We've had our own like plagues. Uh, so anyway, um, if you're not or if you're new to the channel, if you've never been here before, please subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. If you are a longtime fan, you know, a longtime follower, subscriber, I hate using the word fan. It just feels weird. Um, absolutely. I thank you guys so much. Please hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you want to share this video around, let people know what I'm up to. It'd be awesome. Uh, no, no worries. No, you know, you don't have to, but it would be cool. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, hit the thumbs up anyway, because really, what's the difference? Um, so <laughs> anyway, uh, comment down below if you like the idea of the ferrets, if you have ideas of how you think I should distribute the story uh, when this uh, short story is done, uh, if you have ideas about how you would like to see it distributed, whether you want to see it just done uh, as a digital, as a webcomic, uh, Printing is going to be tough. I was looking into money in, into printing and prices and stuff for a short comic like that. It's I don't know. I'm not sure. I, if you guys want to see like a really, really like ghetto, old school, underground, punk, like straight up photocopied version and I'll mail it to you, we could maybe work something like that out. Let me know what you think. I, I don't know. It'd be cool to see your ideas, how you'd like to, to get the story. I would love to to know that. Um, do you want me to include it in future issues of Indie Comics Underground? Let me know. Uh, so anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, all that good stuff. I will talk to you guys later, and peace out.